Hey, what's up, guys? It's it's been a while. I know it's uh, it's painfully been a while. It's been a month without recording, which coming from me is actually uh, not unusual nowadays. Um, so, what's been new? Not very much, you know. Besides the fact that it's a whole new year and a whole new me. This is the first video I record before the gaming video I've recorded previous prior to it uh which you'll see after this video so i want to clear up some things it's been a month almost probably close to two months who knows let me tell you what's been going on over that month one there was christmas i had a very fun time with my family and got to eat all the food in the world and still be the most skinniest person in the world let's go my high metabolism is actually killing me and i want it to stop almost at this point um, to some degree anyways, uh, what's else been going on school? God, I can't tell you. I, you know, before break, I had a lot of tests and during after break, I had a lot of tests. So that kind of just, <laughs> I was like, yeah. you know, I was kind of just all shaky about it. I was kind of nervous, but most of them were pretty much decently fine and not much to worry about. So well, that is, uh, Stop being a pussy. Um, <laughs> and whoa, Colson, I'm a nerd gaming. Did you just swear? I did. Because I told you in the video uh, that I made prior, uh, about a couple months ago, that I was like, I'm not going to swear all the time. But because then YouTube's guideline got implemented shortly after my video, coincidentally, it's kind of making that harder. So now I'm having to see bit just to work on that too so that's kind of a new change that you'll be saying this year is that i'm not a hundred percent family friendly i'm like 90 percent family friendly and that's like that's the peak that's it doesn't need to go any lower than that i'm afraid you know i don't you don't need to see my full 100 percent true side of how i am when i swear randomly i sound like i have tourette's in fact, that I actually don't. It's just something I do. Uh, what else been going on? I'm learning a third language, by the way. I thought I'd let you know that. Because um, I don't have to take Spanish next year. That gives me more time to do this stuff that I love so much. Um, which is cool, I suppose. You know, That's pretty cool. And the third language I am learning, because most of you don't know this unless you're close friends with me and you're subscribed to me because of it, I'm not truly like like American American, like born as an average day American. No, I'm Native American. It doesn't look like it. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm whiter than pasty Colgate toothpaste, okay? But I am Native American. I'm one-eighth. Which means I still within within reason I'm still I'm still native enough to fit within my group of people, which is Cherokee. That is the language that I'm learning, and that's why English right now kind of sucks because I'm going back to a language I hadn't gone over in around maybe nine, ten years, roughly. So it's kind of hard to you know do Spanish and uh, Cherokee and English all at the same time. It's, you know, it's, it's kind of hard, but I don't have to take Spanish next year or years after it doesn't mean I'm not going to not, you know, not say Spanish again, but you know, kind of need a break because those Spanish teachers probably had enough of me, I think quite well, not because I'm annoying, but because they're probably just done with all of us. Let's be honest. If you know us personally, um, and yeah, I mean, I haven't really been doing that much. I got some Steam cards, though, and some new games that I'm going to play. Um, if you've seen my political channel, you know I know I made a post about it saying, look at this video I made. You don't have to follow my political side based on the videos I make there because they're both sided. So, evidentially, or realistically, I'm nor, nor right nor wrong because I'm independent. So... I guess if you want to check that stuff out, I'll be trying to upload more stuff there when I get the time, of course. Um, 
but I haven't really been doing much. Today, though, which is February 6th, I got to pick more classes for what I take my junior year. And I'm pretty happy with it. It's kind of basic, but um, at least uh, I'm, I'm not going to take weight training junior year. I'm going to take PE because I, I believe personally that if I can take weight training at the rec center, then I can take um, PE as like an extra thing you know, in class, it just doubles the workout and it just makes the experience so much more better. And there's a lot of people that say, Oh, PE sucks. That's because you're just not athletic and don't give two flying, you know, what's about PE. And I get it. There's not, not everyone likes it, even though it's a require. It is a requirement. Don't get me wrong. In my school, it is a requirement as it is probably elsewhere. Um, but I, I love PE. Personally, it's like one of my favorite things, not including sixth grade because I hated it at one point so much that I actually failed it. I was that stupid, um, but it's I'm okay now. I'm not that stupid. My GPA in eighth grade was at a 3.0 and now I'm at a 3.7. So pretty good, you know, not many kids get that far up within reason. So I'm not completely stupid as the name of this channel is and some people will call me out I, I know in person some people will call me out and say are you a nerd academically or are you a nerd within your gaming i'm a nerd within mostly gaming uh academically kind of but academically within the sense that uh yeah five years ago academically i was a nerd now i'm kind of like basically just a gamer who plays random games that no one's cared about I guess. Um, but yeah, that's kind of been that. And, you know, I've gotten, you know, pretty good. Been pretty good, actually. You know, since I haven't been talking uh, in such, I've been on Snapchat and talking to people, talking to friends that are making videos and such. And, uh, you know, doing those basic things. I've been looking at uh, Penguin Z Zero channel, his channel, uh, Moist Critical, and looking at all these things going on for the last past month, like the whole Eminem's investigation thing, whatever it is, something about genders on Eminem's. I'm not even going to go into that because the whole context of that is so stupid to even begin. Um, and a lot of other things happen. I mean, you know, ever since I've been doing a, I kind of want to mix this in just a little bit, not much. It seems to me, because I know for a fact that humans love to repeat history and no one can disagree with me on that because we're currently recreating old history that happened about a hundred years ago. So as you all know, um, some people like to believe we're entering a recession. I believe we're in a recession. You could disagree on that if you want, but that depends on what social class you are dignified in if it be middle or upper, or if you're like me, where I'm like in between middle and low. So yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of weird that, you know, we're having all history repeating itself again, because of the, if you heard about the recent Chinese balloon thing, it kind of seems like the Cuban missile crisis and some, some capacity, it kind of feels like that, but I'll leave that for the political channel. If you want to check that out, link will be in the description down below, along with every other channel. And before I go, I have to say, wow, my statistics channel has blown up bigger than most of my channels really do. And the video views I've been getting are crazy. I'm gaining 22,000 views a month. I'm gaining around 100 subs a month. And I'm pushing... And I, you know, realistically, I don't care about the money because I'm only a sophomore. I'm only 15, right? It's not the biggest concern to me. Um, but at 15, I'm already pushing like $20 a day, which for me is fine. I, I actually quite enjoy that. And yearly, it says I'm making like $1,400, which within, you know, that's within Social Blade and that's all that. So those numbers could change whenever, but to me, it, 
it's crazy because I don't really care about the money so much, even though it's a big number for specifically my age, for sure. I don't necessarily care so much about that. And I don't really care about the views. The views don't really bother me either. I think I posted a video around 24 hours ago that already had 230 views like that in 24 hours, which is pretty good. It's uh, pretty, pretty good. But the subscribers, the amount of followers I get monthly and really daily have pushed that channel to influence all channels I have and to influence myself that I'm good at something that people like. And this is the thing apart with it, the part with all of this that people like. And I think that's really cool. And I thank you all for the support on the statistics channel. That almost has 500 subs. Um, but it's been pretty cool. And kind of a bummer thing is that I've had some friends of mine completely just not do YouTube anymore. They haven't deleted their channel, but their videos are like privated. Uh, the first one was Vast YT, a friend of mine. I'm not going to say his name. Um, but uh, he had like quit probably like last year. And I think it's because he got tired of it and such. And people lose confidence like, oh, I'll never get anywhere. But the problem is you have to keep trying and you got to keep pushing even in sometimes the uh, most toughest conditions. And Mr. Beast did it. He's a prime example of someone that suffered through in adulthood, in the early stages of adulthood. And he still pushed out what he could to his best ability until he hit that piece of fame once again. And that's what I do. And that's what many of my friends did. But a lot of my friends just don't think they're the one to be chosen. And within the YouTube algorithm, I can understand kind of why. But I'm not going to be the person that lets go of my audience. I'm going to always keep a persistent drive to whatever top that I can get and keep going at that rate. Cause I love what I do as a hobby. I've been doing YouTube since 2009. So I've been doing it for a God awful long time. Um, so it's, it's been years on end, but I'm still doing what I do best. It may be different channels, but I still do what I love doing. And I still, I still keep trying to get, better and better and better and that's what i'm just dreaming for because let's be honest most people don't want to work from home they want to become influencers on some platform that derives them in the direction that they don't have to listen to the upper boss the other person right but i don't see the world that way and i will never see the world that way no matter if i'm successful because my upper boss is youtube it's just it's not direct but I love what I do on YouTube because it gives me that free space of just being creative within a fundamental way that lets me explore more than it does being in a low minimum wage job at like McDonald's, I guess. So thank you all for sure on all the channels. Um, but really, that's just about it. And I will see you all in the next gaming uh, or update video. Peace out, guys.